Well, Merry Christmas, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Hope you guys are doing well, and I hope you guys are enjoying this wonderful Christmas day. As I'm recording this, it is December the 24th, Christmas Eve. I was gonna say bright and early, but I actually overslept a little bit this morning, but um, I'm gonna do something I don't really wanna do, but I have to do. We're gonna, I gotta head into Costco this morning and pick up a couple supplies. So we're having a Christmas dinner, or I don't know if it'd be Christmas lunch, Leonard, if you will. Um, so I'm supplying some, we're supplying some stuff. We're having some friends over. I think my parents are gonna come. So I gotta do that today. We're gonna go with me and endure this Costco madness, if you will. But a little hazy today. It looks like we've already got, probably gotten a little bit of rain or it was super humid last night. Um, but it's still kind of sleepy here around the campground and uh, I'm inviting you guys. We're gonna go check it all out, see what's going on. Costco Christmas Eve. Should be fun. All right, so we're back at Wawa. I'm filling up for fuel. It's been exactly one week from today, and it's now $3.15. I just paid one week ago today $2.49. So something is going on here. I don't, I don't like that. I, I, I hate that they do that. I, I'm pretty sure they just try to take advantage of the holiday rush, people on the road, people traveling. So yeah, that's a 66 cent increase in one week that's uh that's quite a bit that's wasn't expecting that oh my god this thing i've got to learn the trick to this i actually almost have to leave the thing hanging out so it won't click the entire time this lid here that i mean it's cool i get the concept i like it but yeah see i almost like the nozzle is barely even in there i just couldn't believe how much wawa has increased their gas prices on me so after this we're heading to costco That'll be the next stop. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so it looks like we got here just in time. It's still, it's only about 10 o'clock, so the church goers have not made it yet. So hopefully we can get in and out of here without too much confusion and hecticness. Is hecticness a word? Or too much frustration? Right in here. I'm gonna run in here real quick. I'll be right in here. Uh, blueberries. Like that's a good deal. I think I'll get these for our charcuterie board for tonight. Man, it's cold in here. All right, so I was commissioned to pick up a pumpkin pie, which is such a good value. My goodness. $5.99, these things are massive. I guess any will do. Yeah, it's three pound, 10 ounce pie. These things are huge. So we got that. Oh, somebody got some samples over here. I need avocados. Where's the avocados? They have really good high quality avocados here. Jen requested some bell peppers. I think I'm good there. Really the main thing I need outside of that is dog food. That's a good deal on those eggs. You pay that much for 12 at like Publix. Holy cow. Cause I, I've never bought them here. I, would, I guess for some reason never thought to. But we don't know, we, we go in egg phases like we'll eat a dozen in a day and we won't eat a dozen in two weeks. So <laughs> yeah. So and the, we're currently in the phase where they're eating a ton of eggs. So all right, so we do get the dog's food here. It's $38.99. It's a 35 pound bag. This is supposedly a pretty good quality food. They've been eating it off and on pretty much their whole lives. So usually it lasts about three weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a bag while we're here. And this is one of the main things I buy at Costco. You get the 32 ounce jar of Mateo's for $6.99. That's such a value. So we talked about chips a couple videos back. I'm gonna show you guys my absolute favorite chips. They are so good. The Siete brand, sea salt, right here, $5.99 at Costco. I paid $5.99 for a bag, probably half that size at Publix a couple weeks ago. Molly has been asking for these, so I guess I'm gonna, in the Christmas spirit, get them for her. Good, how are you? Good. 
Um, if, if we have, if you have one. Yep. What happened? You got a, sir. You, the reason why it's stopping me is because uh, there's a block because you have a two percent reward. Uh, okay. So you, every time I go, the line's six miles long. Right, okay. So, hold on. Okay. Block it. I need to scan your card again. Only ah. That's money, man. It's waiting for you. All right, thank you. I must say that was we. I got out of here pretty unscathed. Two hundred and twenty bucks. I didn't get as much as I typically do, but we're running a little tight on freezer and fridge storage right now, so I couldn't go too wild. Oh, I didn't even see that lady. Oh well, I'll wait here. How are you? Fine. How are you? Great. Thank you. Thank you. You too. So yeah, we that Costco is relatively not busy, so that that was a, I think we made the right call. We were in and out, no problem. Checkout line, didn't even have to wait. So I gotta get home, get this crap put away, and I still unfortunately have a little shopping I have to do today. So not too much, but we'll get it all taken care of. Do you remember where I parked? Because I do not. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I do. I typically try and park by the buggy corral because as you know, me and Jen are pretty big cart narcs, so we tend to I tend to park next to the buggy. So let me get this stuff loaded up and get back to the bus. an unbelievable value on their on these pies <laughs> like yeah. i literally could not make that for that there's like it would cost me more to make that yeah like there's no point in buying and making it yourself so we're on to our second stop for today publix is looking to be a little more packed so but hopefully not too bad everybody trying to fit in their last minute shopping for the holo the impending holiday I don't have to get a lot, but there is a couple. I am in the hunt for a fresh turkey. That is what I'm looking for. One, because I don't have time to thaw a turkey because it is literally Christmas Eve. And two, supposedly it is better to deep fry a fresh turkey than a already frozen one. So wish us luck. I love public. Their stores, just, they just smell so good. And they're so clean. Like I said, best grocery store in the country, in my opinion. I mean, we could just do like a roasted turkey breast. <laughs> just get like nine of those. I, I've actually had that before. They took these and they deep fried them. I mean. They actually aren't that bad. Ooh, I bet that's good. Cranberry white chocolate bread. Think we should put that for the charcuterie? Ooh, yeah, I think we should. I can't eat it, but. I'm down. What am I here to get? Turkey. Yeah, let's just head there. What you looking at for lunch there, buddy? I want some sushi, but I don't know what sushi I want. That's I know not, I can. You don't like the imitation crab meat that much, no, I though. Don't. I was looking at the spicy tuna. Spicy like tuna roll. They have bowl, like a poke bowl. Ooh. Salmon poke bowl. Please cross your fingers that they have turkeys. Please, please, please have them. Because honestly, I'm getting to the point where I don't know what I'm gonna do if they don't. And I don't see any. They were right here yesterday. Well, they only had, they had none. Fresh They're, hen. With what is that? For baking, well, what is it? It's a hen. Is it a turkey? It's a fowl. It's a fowl. Hi, do you guys have any fresh turkeys? I don't. Do you plan on getting any more today or no? Okay. We're sold out. Thank you. Oh, well, there's that. $30 for this little thing. I don't know what to do. What if we got like three of those and deep fried on this? I mean, it's a lot. It's quite a bit of meat. There's a lot of people, so I would think, do you want any dark stuff no, too? No, I, I, I mean, I, at this point, I don't think we can get too specific. I mean, I mean, I would buy one, two, three, four, five. 
honey, I, but you don't. You're not a food uh, prepper. Like you, 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 you kind of go over. Overbuy. Yeah, you, you go over by. Yeah, but I, I want to make sure. If, like, you my reason in doing that is I want. Okay, make but sure the vast, but the vast majority of them are kids. So I think we have determined we're going to go with four of these. I, I don't really have, feel like I have many other options at the moment. They do sell the wings here and they have dark meat, which at this point I don't really care. I just kind of want to get this taken care of and get gone. So I think we're going to go with four of these and make the best of it. All right, look, I guess apparently I am going to do macaroni and cheese. So I need a box of uh, elbow macaroni. All right, I was just talking about you guys. Okay, so what I bought at Costco was this right here. 16 ounce jar, 565. I bought a 32 ounce jar for 699. Out of this world. <laughs> Jen doesn't get nearly as excited about shopping and savings as I do. I think I'm gonna make some uh, buffalo chicken dip tonight. <laughs> I. I crave buffalo chicken. We're looking for the gluten-free section. She wants to try to get some gluten-free pancake mix. Oh, yay, that's all we need. Oh, oh that one. one. Oh, yeah. Cool, man, thank you, I appreciate your help. Have a Merry Christmas, thank you. Is that the one you want? Yeah, I like that one better. So what's the red mill? Like, what do you need? Like, pancakes, you need red uh, melted butter, one egg, and three quarters of a cup of milk. So I guess we could use Oh, no. um, oh, no. Okay. I guess that'll work. All right, onward. I wouldn't mind a little Topo Cheapo action for Christmas. Ooh, yes. But to keep Molly out of them. I need a, um, a two pack of cream cheese, please. Right here, yeah, two pack. It's best to shred your own. I am not gonna be shredding my own. I. I don't even really want to make this, but I'm going to make it. And I'm going to go ahead and buy pre-shredded. Let me go with this. Shredded Colby and Monterey Jack cheeses. It's 32 ounces. How many? Okay, but they're talking about poundage, though. Oh, eight cups. Okay, this will be all I need. All right, that's it. All right. Um, oh, I need a Parmesan. Can you grab me the Parmigiano? Yep. It's going to be an expensive trip. Yeah, I, it doesn't look like a lot, but what's in there is pricey. So Topo Chico. Always be recording. Always. Always. You never, exactly, you never know what you're going to miss. So what you think it'll be, how much you think it's going to be? God, I hope not. I, I didn't think it was going to be that much. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. you okay? Yes. Good. 207 bucks. Oh, so I'm close. You're not going to be as far off as I was hoping you would be. Have a good one, thank you. Yikes, that was painful. Gee whiz, I knew it was gonna be pricey. I think I say every year that the next year I'm gonna just go out for Thanksgiving or Christmas lunch, cause man, it is expensive to prepare food. All right, I think I'm done shopping. God, I hope so. I've had enough shopping. I know, I, I love having I'll be honest, I absolutely love having this car. It makes life, every everyday life, quite a bit simpler. Wow, she just piled all the, the turkey in there, huh? The I mean, wow. Okay. I mean, I guess save bags. You are so particular with your bagging. I am, and this bagging is, it's fine. It's, it's Christmas, y'all. I'm not going to be too much of a hard tail. A hard, hard tail, I know. I'm being PG for every for the YouTube channel. Um, we've got some Stroop waffles. I love those things. I know you do. If you've never tried a Stroop waffle, do yourself a favor and buy one. They, they, they're, they're better heated up, but... They have like caramel in between them? Yeah, they're, they're insanely good. Those things are incredible. 
we got something over here that looks kind of, I don't know. I don't know the word I want to use for it. I, let me know down in the comments. What do you guys think this looks like? I, I'm not going to say it on camera. So Jen is putting together the charcuterie board. Mm -hmm. Babe, that looks good. Thank you. Quite the, uh, Look at that. quite the, Eli, Look at that. My goodness. You got those stroop waffles. Are you? Got our little, some of our cured meats over here. Gosh, this camera is never pointing where I think it is. Some of our cured meats. Somebody made some pretty incredible looking deviled eggs. I'm pretty sure this is a Jewish bread. Is it Jewish bread? I'm pretty sure that's a Jewish bread. I, let me know in the comments. I don't know the name of it exactly, but I'm pretty sure it's a Jewish bread. Jen bought it thinking it was a dessert bread, but that's okay. All right, charcuterie board is completed. I think she did an incredible job, guys. Let Jen know down in the comments how good of a job she actually did. This is probably going to be my favorite. I am all about buffalo chicken dip. We've got some little smokies over here in some honey hot, kinder honey hot sauce. Anyways, guys, I think we're going to dig in here in just a second. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Merry Christmas to each and every one of you out there. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you're enjoying your day with family and friends, doing whatever you want to do. But from all of us here at Your Hype Couple, from the Bethune family, we thank you so much for being here, as always, guys. We'll see you here in a couple days, and uh, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye, guys. All right, they got a golf cart parade coming by. Oh, Santa's in this parade. Okay, we can't miss that. There he is. Santa on a bicycle.